Hi everyone and welcome back. If you guys have a B7060 motherboard, you have to download and install the latest BIOS update as soon as you can for correcting the stability of the Intel Core 13 and 14 desktop TPUs. In this case, we have the ROG Strix B7060i by ASUS. So download the BIOS and install it. And we're going to test it to see how is the stability and the temps, especially with the 14600K as for starting. Then go and check some settings to the BIOS before starting doing some tests. All right, guys, as we can see, the BIOS has been updated to the last version, which is 1660. So let's go and see what are the settings here. As we can see, we have the performance preferences set to Intel default settings. This is something I didn't change. The once the BIOS was updated, this was the settings chosen by the motherboard itself. So we will leave it as they are Intel default settings and performance. As we can see, we have some disclaimers here. Load the Intel performance power delivery profiles with all these disclaimers here. And depending on which CPU you will install on your motherboard, the profile applied will change accordingly to that CPU. What I recommend to leave disabled here, guy, is the ASUS Performance Enhancement 3.0, which, as we can see from the description, if we leave it disabled, we'll keep the Intel default setting CPU. So we will leave everything on default because we want to test and we want to see if this microcode update is somehow fixing something or is at least uh, taking under control the, all the temps and whatever. The only thing I'm going to change is the DRAM frequency because I don't want to leave it as the default values, but I won't change it to what the memory is. What is the memory frequency? actually and everything else will stay with all the default settings let's go quickly on the power management to see how we change it here and what they changed all right now that everything has been set with the intel default settings except of course for the dram frequency well, let's go back to windows and run some tests to see how it's the performances temps and so on all right guys here we have 30 minutes of stress tests in occt and as we can see we have some temps here and also some voltages which i believe they are still too much high and i don't know if this is something could fix or might fix issues and stability issues and errors and whatever as we can see we have 1.120 volts on one of the e cores i don't believe this one to really fix something at least it didn't crash while doing this 30 minutes stress test so and we have as we can see the power limit on 181 watts so with all this i believe that we have to go through bios and lower down all these voltages because they are crazy high and they're going to sure damage your cpu and we are going to have a lot of high temps as we can see here okay this is a stress test but in normal use you shouldn't see all these uh, temps here if we have some quick test on cinebench 24 and as we can see also here we have crazy high temps and also crazy high voltages which in my opinion it is not okay so we have to go back to the bios again and change all the settings this bios update is not something that can uh, magically fix what is the issue with intel 13 and 14 core gen cpus so what whatever BIOS they are going to release and whatever update they are going to release for the micro codes and for everything else you have to go again through the BIOS to change all these settings so whatever you are updating your BIOS and whatever you are applying those Intel default settings still they are not safe and in my opinion you have to tweak some of those settings especially the voltages here or well, this update is just something to say to people okay we just update the micro code but we don't have any idea what is going on at least with the B7060 I motherboards we will test it also with the z1790 motherboards with the msi motherboard whenever msi will remember that high-end motherboards exist i have a msi z790 ace motherboard and they are not still releasing the bios update by the end of the month maybe so yeah when that bios will be released we will test it also on the z790 to see if it's still the same and i have the feeling that it's going to be the same so if you guys find this video helpful and informative hit the like button drop a comment if you are installing this bios update and if you are still facing the same issues or somehow your cpu and your motherboard are not having these kind of issues and thanks for watching